Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my week 25 workout journey update slash Chloe Ting challenge. I have a couple huge announcements that I'm gonna get into, but first let's just go through what I did this week because it's kind of just the same as last week, but I'm just gonna run through it really fast because I like to document these things. So starting off on Saturday, July 4th, I did nothing because it was the 4th of July and you know, I use any excuse not to work out. Then Sunday, July 5th, I did the new 20 minute workout. So I actually wanted to try out and it's really nice. Um, it's not like hard cardio, it's more like ab focused. So that's one thing to consider if you're gonna try that one. Then I did the toned arm workout and then I did the hip dips workout with my purple resistance band. So Monday, July 6th, I did the 2019 shred like normal, the Heather ab challenge. I don't know. I'm just like giving it a name now, but um, Heather Elise Harple's like ab workout, which I still have to take breaks so much. And I also did the bra bulge exercise, which that's probably one of my favorite exercises. Tuesday, I do not work out. It is my day off. Then on Wednesday, the 8th, I did the 15 minute workout workout plus the Alexis Wren ab challenge. I really like that challenge because it's like intense but like perfect for a day that you don't really want to work out. Then on Thursday I don't work out and today Friday the 10th I did the 30 minute full body workout. That workout makes me sweat so much and you know when you do a workout for quite a while, you kind of get used to it. I can honestly say I've not gotten used to that one. I don't know what it is about that specific workout, but I really enjoy it. That's why I try to do it like once a week because I can barely get through it still to this day. And I've been working out for forever. So don't think that like, just because you've been doing something for a while, it doesn't make it like easier. I mean, sometimes for some people that works, but you know. And then I did the back workout, the um, bra bulge. And then I did the booty workout, which I love. The last exercise always kills me because like you're just stuck in like one position. I guess that's pretty much it for all I did this week. Now let's get into the updates, which my first update is not as exciting as the next update. So I wanna say, I feel like my form is getting a lot better and I got a comment on that, which is really cool that you guys are kind of noticing. I don't know if you can kind of tell in the time lapse. I know it goes by pretty fast, but I'm really happy and when I see myself in the camera and stuff like when I do a plank at least I mean I'm pretty flat like that was definitely not the case in the beginning and you can go back and watch those videos and this playlist if you'd like I'm pretty proud that like my form has gotten so good over the past 25 weeks now for the big announcement big announcement um I've been getting a lot of questions if I'm going to try another person's workouts because I've been doing Chloe Ting for a while now and I really do want to try um, another person just to have variety spice it up a little bit uh, maybe create a new like little workout plan that I see fits my body now at my new level because I feel like I have even though I can still barely get through the 30 minutes full body workout and the um, 26 minute workout that I do by Chloe Ting I still feel that I should like challenge myself even more just because I've gotten um, better and I have higher stamina now I am going to be trying Pamela Reef's workouts. I believe that's how you say her name, but I have um, in my workouts playlist, check it out if you haven't already. I've already set aside videos in that playlist and they're all under the Chloe Ting workouts and stuff and other workouts I do. So I have this big group of, of new videos that I've kind of like reviewed and I'm like, oh, I want to try that one. Um, personally, I like to pick and choose just cause like I can kind of know like, oh, I want to try that one because of this specific workout or just the time I'm really big on timing. So if like there's 20 minutes, there's like a 20 minute video on like legs, I'm like, I don't need to do legs for 20 minutes. No offense. I mean, I'm not a professional when it comes to this stuff, but like another reason why I like Chloe Ting was because of her timing. So like one video, like the big video I would do first and then we have these little other like sectors. It's like if you were at a gym, like you would do your warm up or whatever, and then you would spend like this amount of time on like your arms and then abs and then legs or whatever. Like for me, I like to have certain time 
stamps. So I found that Pamela has some of those. So I'm super excited to try. So next week I will be spicing things up a little bit with um, Pamela's workout. Um, does this mean I'm not going to do Chloe Ting's? No, that doesn't mean that. But like probably for the first couple weeks, I'm only going to do Pamela's workouts because I really want to see what it's all about. And um, I actually found her because a lot of people do her butt challenge. And as you guys know, I want like a cuter butt. I know that sounds really weird, but yeah. So I found her butt challenge, whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. And then she has other workouts, obviously. Kind of like how people found Chloe Ting through her like ab workout. And then they noticed she had other videos geared towards other parts of the body and stuff. That's kind of how I found Pamela. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried Pamela Reef's workouts? I've heard good things about her. I know that I really want to try Mad Fit, but her videos are just so long for like one exercise. Sorry, I just hit my mirror over here. Oh, another update I wanted to mention was I had chips and dip on the 4th of July because it was the 4th of July and it was so good. All right, so now let's get on to the photos. So Alex on the left is last week and Alex on the right is this week. Here is the side view of that. My legs are falling asleep. I've never been able to sit on my like knees for a long period of time. Okay, moving on to the pre-workout photos. So Alex on the left is pre-workout Alex and Alex on the right is now. And then here is the side view of that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new upcoming workout updates. Does that even make sense? Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.